So, I think the last song from Nano War of Seattle Listen to was Vegan Velociraptor, which I ended up not caring for because at some point in the songs, Rick was treated as like a joke. Um, so, I didn't like it. Um, but I'm not adverse to listening to other songs. Um, but <laughs> grains of salt everywhere. <laughs> heavy, heavy grains. Raw, you know, salt flat grains. Or blocks, whatever. Um, so this is Truth Fairy, and this came out last year. I guess it's on the same album as a couple of the songs I listened to so far. Uh, I think I said so far that Call of Cthulhu was my favorite song. Probably after that, it would be. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, is after that maybe it might be Nor Norwegian reggaeton, and then maybe, and then it was a gargle. But I feel like those could, those could, those two switches, those two songs could switch. Um, but this is Tooth Fairy featuring Mario Draghi. Um, so I think I was trying to figure out who this was, and I was saying something about how they awarded him some honorary title. I think that's it, this guy. There's another message that I want to tell you today. Is that who is this? Monday, Wait, is that a politician instead? Am I, am I thinking of the wrong person? Or is this someone pretending to be a politician? DCB. He's ready to. That seems like a politician. Let me see. Did they just did they just randomly include this man, uh, and then have him featuring? That'd be wild. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that's wrong. That's, I'm thinking of the wrong person. Wow. Does he know? Was this something he agreed to, or just <laughs> okay? Do whatever it takes to preserve the euro. And believe me, it will be enough. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> oh gosh! Why is there? Oh, Tooth Fairy. But why is he Vegeta? Is he? Is that no? Is that Vegeta? What? Again, how is this a lyrics video? But okay.
Nadis. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I didn't... I, did, I honestly thought this was just going to be about the two fairy in some way or form. I was pleasantly surprised that it was in fact a political song about economic policies. And it's just... I think the main reason, not the main reason, one of the reasons I liked uh, Men of Set was she was Gargoyle because, you know, randomness, but then also, like, re realistic terminology thrown in there. Uh, you know, the whole thing about, or am I just a fan of is it, 16th century architecture? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, and they have that in other songs. You know, same with uh, Norwegian Reggaeton. You have all these actual references it's the it's the parody aspect, and then it's the hey, we're gonna reference to like fact too. Um, so this whole thing was just reference to fact, and the beat was it was nice enough. It wasn't super crazy. Um, I don't want. I kind of want to say this is my favorite song now, because lyrics wise, you know, nothing's really offensive there. Um, but I liked Call of Cthulhu, and it was the the beeps I think in the song and the garbling that was used for more sound. I don't know. I have to, I have to listen to both of them. Um, but I like this song. Um, I don't know that I... Okay, this is fast. Presumably they... Wait, it says taken from Sarah... Okay, so it's... Like, it's a... It's the Sarah de Valhalla album. Okay, is that the name of this al the name of this album, I guess? Okay, that's the name of the album, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Stop it! In the name of whatever! <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, it's probably not my favorite song. Um, it's probably my favorite song now. Um, thanks for watching.